I'm Ivan Zoot and welcome to Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web. You know, Jatai Academy's got a great thing going here. We send videos to you, you subscribe to the videos. Everybody gets great stuff. It's awesome and we're glad to have you back for another video in our series. Today we want to take a look at sectioning hair. Sectioning hair, fundamental to great hair cutting, fundamental to certain hair color techniques, fundamental to updo fancy party styling. You can't really do everything with everything. You got to break it down into smaller groups. So let's talk about sectioning. By definition, sectioning is taking a full head of hair and breaking it down into smaller portions, components, or what in our industry we call sections. From within sections, we have what are called subsections, a part of a section. And then within subsections, we sometimes refer to these as partings. A parting would be an individual portion of hair. Maybe a portion we'd work with with color or a portion we intend to cut. So we know what we're dealing with with definitions. Let's talk about tools. In sectioning, we use combs typically to do our sectioning. And many combs are specifically designed to help with sectioning. A comb like this has a larger gap at the last tooth. That's designed to be used for sectioning. That larger tooth lets us strike very clean partings to delineate our sections. Some other combs will have a shortened tooth near the end, allowing the last tooth to then become our sectioning tooth, making it very easy to get wonderful clean sections all the way down to the bottom. Lastly, the Jatai uh, teasing pin comb, really cool. The teasing area of the comb, they look like bobby pins and they're awesome for teasing and, and getting fullness and volume and back combing hair, but the other end is perfect for sectioning. Now, I don't think I would ever advocate that you'd cut hair with this comb, but I'm not saying that you can't, but if you're going to be doing braiding, updos, fancy party styles and things like that, not only is it an essential or fundamental tool, but it's perfect because of that long pintail design for sectioning. So let's look at a couple of big power tips for sectioning. Number one, hair sections easier and cleaner when there's moisture or hydration in the hair. So it's good to have the hair well hydrated. But hair can dry out during cutting. We can have some challenges with it. So I always recommend cutting lotions. Blade Glide Plus from Jatai is a perfect example. Brand new bottle, take a couple of shots to prime that thing. And wonderful product for sectioning. Maintains even and consistent moisture and hydration through the hair. It's got a wonderful fresh fragrance, closes and seals the cuticle. We get nice clean lines and beautiful sections. So whether you're using a light styling aid or a product like Blade Glide, specifically intended as a cutting lotion, perfect for clean, sharp sectioning. The next thing we're going to look at is clipping. Now, when we're working with sections of hair, subsectioning hair, we want to put that hair away and keep it away. But it can fall, it can drape, it can drop. Sometimes in the case of vertical sectioning, we want to section that hair out, put it away, and have other hair segregated elsewhere. That's where we get to clipping. And once again, Jatai's got a winner product in the category. These are Jatai Clip Crips. Uh, clip, that, that, that was easy for me to say. Grip Clips, you knew what I meant. These are great. I love the bright red color because I love everything red. Jatai, obviously J for Japan, and the Japanese flag and the red connection. That's a beautiful thing right there. But these clips can be used when I were cutting to do our sectioning. I've traditionally done a lot of my sectioning with my clips because the underside of the grip clip is narrow and thin. We've got little tiny teeth on both sides of the clip that really allows these babies to clip and lock and hold beautifully so that we can work with sections of hair, isolating sections of hair very quickly, very cleanly, and with a great deal of precision. So here we go, clipping it up from below. The slight curvature of the grip clip hugs the head beautifully to make it very easy to work with. So we're going to be clipping a lot. Now, pinch and pull is one of my favorite sectioning techniques. Pinch and pull is something you've seen me do a couple of times in the video already, but this is where in order to create a section, I'm going to take my comb or my sectioning tip or even the tail on my pin comb. I'm going to grab that section, pinch it together and pull it away. And notice the clean line all the way down to the scalp that I get from pinch and pull. 
Pinch and pull allows me to come in, pinch that hair, and pull comb away, and take that point straight to the scalp. Look how clean the line is. If I don't cruise the scalp, if I'm off the scalp, my line is irregular. But if I sit on the scalp, pinch and pull, I get beautiful clean lines and sections. Lastly is a technique I'll add called aim for your finger. What I mean by that is I can't see my index finger when I set it under here at the ear. You can't see the tip of my finger. But when I come down and I aim for it, when the tip of the tail comb rests on the tip of my finger, see how I did that? I aim for the tip of my finger when I feel it, then I pinch and pull and separate it out. And now I've got that perfect vertical section because within the hair, I aim for the tip, pinch it away, and pull it away to get good clean sectioning. Clean sectioning is about building a solid foundation on which to build great haircuts, great hair color services, great fancy party updo styling, and great work. The better your sectioning, the better you lay a foundation, the better everything you build will be built. JATAI.net on the web. Don't forget to subscribe to the video series if you just stumbled across this video by chance. If you are a subscriber, thank you for watching today. Thank you for watching last time. Thank you for watching next time. And have a great day.